Yeah, it's like a little story time. Um, you know, letting you guys know more facts about me and stuff like that. Basically, it's gonna be about me having strict parents and why I moved out my parents' house, probably so abruptly, like out of nowhere. Um, I moved out of my parents' house when I was 21. Well, I'm not even 21, 20. I first moved out and, went and lived in my friend's uncle's house for about three months. And then I saved up money and got my own apartment. But we're talking about when I was living at my parents' house. So this is the main reason why I left, because they were strict. Um, and because I felt like I couldn't be myself. You know, I couldn't say what I want to say, think how I want to think, do what I wanted to do. They're talking about I had curfew. Like, even after I graduated high school, you guys, I still had a curfew. So I had to tell them where I was going, who I was going with. Like, I don't know, I just didn't like people going through my phone, people turning off the Wi-Fi. Like, my parents restrict stuff off my phone, you guys. Like, to the point where I couldn't watch videos. I can't use Google. I can't use the internet. I can't really do too much. Like, I can't even watch YouTube videos. I can't even go on social media apps. Like, that's how bad it was. So, at the time, that's why I didn't have social media like that. Like, if you guys did know me or knew me, I didn't have social media. And when I did, it was, like, low-key social media, mainly because I wanted to be able to take pictures and videos how I wanted in my, you know, type of environment that I wanted to. And I wanted to look how I wanted to look. Like, living at my parents' house, I didn't look how I wanted to look. Like, people, if anybody knew me when I was living at my parents' house from the age of, like, 1 to 20, just know that I was dressing like that, my hair was looking like that because, and I was like that because I was with my parents, they were toxic, I cannot dress how I wanted to dress, I'm a tomboy, but I like to dress up sometimes, so people felt like I changed in my appearance, or like, you know, I got better at dressing, no, I basically got to be more of myself when I got to move out of my parents' house, um, they were strict about a lot of stuff, like, when it come down to formal TV, they had a lock on all the channels so i can only watch disney channel my parents did not allow me to listen to the radio and the only station they let me listen to was radio disney until i hit high school then i got to listen to 97.9 and 93.7 which is hip-hop i never got to listen to hip-hop so i didn't grow up how other people got to grow up my parents made me so enclosed like i didn't even get to go to people's sleepovers or people's houses until i hit middle school I wasn't allowed to do a lot of stuff like I wasn't even allowed to be outside for that long when I did play outside because I did have neighbors that lived in my neighborhood and stuff but it was just you know a lot of stuff with that um I wasn't allowed to wear makeup I wasn't allowed to wear eyelashes I wasn't allowed to dye my hair so when I finally got to dye my hair that oh that's when I wasn't living with my people like that no more so I wasn't hearing you know rude remarks like my people feel like certain looks or certain things you do is ghetto or you know not holy or um you know not classy and stuff like that or like certain stuff i do is totally different like they don't like doing the same stuff that i like doing they don't even like eating the same stuff i like to eat so i had to go and like my parents are procrastinators when it comes with stuff that i need so that's why i also moved out because i couldn't get what i needed done living with them like if i need to go to the dentist the doctor if i need to go shopping or something like my parents are procrastinators to where they could not do nothing for me they had the money but i couldn't do it and when i did get to do it it would be like months later because they finally got around to thinking about it and actually doing it like it took so long for me to even get braces you guys and my mom told me i was been supposed to get braces since fifth grade she just didn't feel like paying for it so it's just sad to me, like, I couldn't get what I would need to get done, so, you know, that's what made me um, be homeless at certain points when I was living with them. I would get kicked out, and they would call me bad names, and they would just be rude to me for no reason, and I would just be in my room all the time, not bothering nobody, so it was just different for me, and they were strict with my clothes. I wasn't allowed to wear tank tops. I really wasn't allowed to wear show skin. Um, I wasn't allowed to wear dresses, so I never wore dresses. I never wore, like, um, and when I did, it was when I was in elementary school. Never got to wear tank tops. I never got to wear shorts. I never got to wear heels. I never got to wear nothing. Like, I didn't even get to have fake nails. And when I did start having fake nails, it was, like, in 11th grade. 
and that's when my mom finally allowed me to but I had to sneak and do it and when I sneak and did it that's when she just finally let me do it and like even with bras I had to buy my first bra I had to go sneak and go to the mall and go buy my first bra same with razors I asked my mom to buy me a razor she didn't buy me one so I had to go sneak and buy me a razor um, most of the time I used to walk to stores because there'd be like it's like a 10 20 minute walk and I would get what I need from like CVS or something because my parents would not get it for me like literally anything that I needed or wanted they would not get it for me and if they did get it for me um, it would be months from then or weeks from then or it would be stuff that I didn't even ask for so it was very like upsetting for me to be in that environment where I couldn't wear what I wanted to wear like even like you know certain stains on stuff certain even hair colors and stuff like I said I couldn't even wear wigs at their house they didn't allow me to wear wigs they didn't allow me to dye my hair they didn't let me wear makeup they didn't even allow me to get my eyebrows done I did not get my eyebrows done till probably senior year of high school or even junior year and I had to sneak and get that done too like it's just sad to me because like you know my mom and my dad never took me there so it's just uh, upsetting and like you know I never got to be comfortable all the way there like even me recording videos like I never got to say what I wanted to say I never got to have time alone like my mom would barge through my door every five minutes my mom used to listen to my phone conversations my mom used to call the phone company and ask to have all the text messages sent out to this phone and from this phone to be sent back to her like literally it's crazy like this woman is crazy I had some crazy incidences my mom used to take a picture of all the lessons place they used to come and get me like it was just it was like too much like they wouldn't even let me go out on weekdays i'd only allowed to be out on weekends when i did finally get to like spend night at people houses and stuff and then even then that's whenever like i said i had to go because they was just doing too much and they was kicking me out for the most dumbest things like if i didn't take medicine when they wanted me to i would get kicked out like if supposedly I didn't do something that they asked me to do, I'll get kicked out. Like, supposedly if I was doing something that they didn't even see me do, but they accused me of doing, I'll get kicked out. Like, I'd be getting kicked out for nothing, for no reason. And, like, I couldn't be who I wanted to be, you know. I don't know. I couldn't be comfortable with nothing. I couldn't. I couldn't. I don't know. It's just totally different for me. Like, people don't realize how... You know how it feels like to have parents that are super strict where you can't go nowhere you can't do nothing you can't look how you want to look you can't act how you want to act you know and i didn't get my first phone till i was in ninth grade you know so that's another thing like i didn't even have a phone like that i was always using a house phone that's why i said you guys my mom used to listen to my conversations because she would listen to them on the house phone my mom used to put she even admitted to me she used to put her ear to my door when i used to close my door in the room and listen to me talk and it's just so weird it's not it's it's not um i don't know it's very it's, it's a lot so all the upcoming parents make sure you know that type of parent or you're just like overly doing it because that just pushes away your child and it makes me not want to even be around my parents or talk to my parents because they never got to love me how i wanted them to love me you know and basically they didn't love my true self and yeah they probably do now just because i'm not living with them and stuff like that if i grew around that now but it's just still the principle of like you know going through something like that and i shouldn't have to and other people out there shouldn't have to either but you know it all gets better that's why i feel like me having my own space made me a better person it made me a better me and like you know that's just it so yeah i hope you guys like this video and understand like where i be coming from when um when i be saying like i'm a really independent person you know and i've been through a lot because i have and um you know sometimes you know a lot of stuff happens to people and like i said i was homeless for a very long time like my parents kicked me out to the point where i could not come back and i was gone for like three months like literally homeless sleeping like outside the elementary school sleeping outside on sidewalks and stuff like that it was just horrible and it's because i had nowhere to go when i was young and i barely had money and i didn't know people and i didn't have like you know id for hotels and stuff i was under 18 at the time i was like 16 17 dealing with this stuff and there was a lot on my plate like dealing with school then your family life then your personal life then your friends and stuff like that and you know i had to deal with not showering i had to deal with not eating i had to deal with 
not having no money. I just deal with not talking to nobody. And by the way, I was homeless with no phone. I was homeless with a phone and I was homeless with no phone. Like, both times. Like, I was homeless a couple of times. So, I feel like that just makes you stronger. Like, you having strict parents, you having to just abruptly move out, not plan, you know, go just do it. Like, and you having the courage and the strength to move on, move past things. And, you know, um, you going through so much and you not always telling everybody everything. But, you know, do not as strong. It's just something that's very um hard for a lot of people to do you know and i'm happy that i did go through this kind of and it made me a stronger person and it just showed that i can call her anything because i already went through rock bottom i hit rock bottom i hit the floor i was at my lowest before and nothing could knock me down because i know i there's no way but up even if i hit down you feel me and um yeah so i hope this video gives you guys some encouragement and help you all understand a little bit about me and um probably why that way i act why i act or what things i do how i do um i had to mature at a young age to you know i had to do things a different way talk a certain way act a certain way so um now that i can be fully me it's just a whole different vibe but yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Bye.